Zoning. Can you read that? I know it's like Czech Republic or something weird. No. Why can't you read that? I thought you were like multilingual. No. You are. Why aren't you? This area should be clear. Because I'm an American and we don't learn other people's languages. That's pretty much how it boils down to. Wow. We require everyone to learn our language. Of course. Ooh, hold on. What is it? It's a pear. Looks like an ass from up here. Oh, there you go. It's a pear! See? Ripe fruit. You eat asses to regenerate. That's fine. That's fine, man. Why I'm do you not judging. Make, you don't make fun of Solid Snake. I'm well, not judging. I'm sorry. That's not Solid You don't make fun of Big Boss. Wow. I didn't know. Even you You're don't. confusing me now. I'm confusing myself now. They all look the same and they're all voiced by the same guy. What are you doing? Climbing a tree like a monkey. What are you doing? Were you Tarzan or something? There was nothing up there. <laughs> I might be Tarzan. I don't really know. Hold on, I'm gonna eat the fruit we just got. You dressed up okay. pretty well for a Tarzan. Oh! So, as usual, this is our playthrough for Metal Gear. We'll, we'll actually start putting these episodes out a lot more often. Um, but right now, we are gonna get to the point that I'm gonna explain a little more in depth as we go the inner workings of the Metal Gear series. If you watched our, what, complete story series? It kind of goes over it briefly. We tried to cram it as much as we can, and in the end it still turned out to be almost an hour and a half. So, but the games themselves are like four or five hours each, so. Really? Yeah, they're actually Only really that? short. Yeah. Oh. Nice war paint. <laughs> All the greats have war paint. Although Nobody he, will see you. He, he missed a spot. Yeah. Why don't I have a hoodie? I want a hoodie. And a coconut. Oh, that's a beehive. <laughs> Look at that evil grin. So this is going to be so sweet. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> That's a hint. He wants you to do something. There's the crouch. I gotta crouch area. <laughs> Hold on, I got this shot. Doink! What the? He saw it. Okay, that's better. Where is but he? He's dead. I don't think I killed him, it's a bee stings. Well, I don't know. Do you see him? Because I don't. I'm looking for him. He's here somewhere, he's panicking. This actually might be bad for me, because now he's panicking and I don't know where he went. I really don't see him. Should be another guy over there. Did he, oh, he might have walked off the ledge! Yeah. See, there, I, I'm not gonna lie, I played Metal Gear Solid 3 when it launched. I've played none of these HD remakes, and we actually bought as many of the Metal Gears as we could because we were doing the Complete Story series. As I was going through writing the scripts up, I got very nostalgic and actually bought, we bought, what, a GameCube? Yeah. So we could get the Twin Snakes remake, I have the Metal Gear Solid PS1 disc over there, and we have, um... Well, not only for that, but And mostly. we bought the digital download for the HD collection and the physical copies. Don't look at me like that. It wasn't intended. I didn't mean to. I bought, I bought the digital version. I didn't then we went see to GameStop anything. and they're like, oh, we got one with a case. And I'm like, the case is pretty. <laughs> wow, and he's the chick. I like pretty things. For the record, I uh, was trying on your underwear the other day. Um, if I'm going to wear panties, we need Did to Did it fit? It, no, it was too tight. Oh. My junk was just kind of compacted in there. Oof. Why am I putting this on a video? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Don't mind me. I actually should not be wasting ammo. This is Metal Gear, and ammo is very hard to come by. You got a lot of ammo right now. I do right now, but... Hold on. Come on, I want the mushrooms. It's, it's a wall. It's a mushroom. Oh my gosh. See? And aim at it, not the wall. I was aiming at the ground. The wall. <laughs> How do you reload? Oh, no. Oh. Crap. I only got four suppressors left. OH SHIT! Who was that just now? Really? I don't know! I don't know! Uh, 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 uh! Are you serious? I did not realize they were coming! Holy shit. This might not end well. Huh? Who is that? <laughs> in the dick? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, that was totally worth shooting him in the dick! He's laughing now. Oh god. Run, Snake, run! Oh, he is crap. running so slow. 
Ooh, that's good. That's good. Just go. No, just... no, okay, so we're at the exit, so I'm gonna go through yeah, here. Just go. Hunt. Okay, wait, now that wasn't a bad moment. I recovered from that pretty quickly, didn't I? Now, why can't you just blitz through it? Just just run through zones. You can. There's people that do speedruns. But how, where's the stealth factor in that? Every time that you go to an area... It won't better for you, I'm just saying. Well, if you walk into an area and get spotted, as you've seen, they call in reinforcements, the area becomes more difficult to travel through now. Right. Gotcha. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. That's crazy, though. Four hours? A yeah, if you put some, I know, I know the original. You could clock in like three and a half hours in like a solid, Metal Gear Solid. See, so but what they don't, what they don't do in any of the Konami games, the the, the Hideo Kojima. How game, much was it back back in the day? The game. I want to say like forty bucks. PS One games are like forty dollars, maybe fifty. But no, Hideo Kojima games don't count the cutscene time. And right. as you're seeing, there is a lot of freaking cutscenes in these titles. Yeah, yeah. Even Metal Gear Rising clocks in at like three or four hours, but that's gameplay. Well, didn't she say the first cutscene was like 30 minutes long? Yeah, first cutscene was 30 minutes long. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta get there without them knowing I'm here. So this is truly gotta be a stealth, or I go around killing everyone quickly. It's up to you. See, can't do him in alert phase, so I have to kill everyone, mm -hmm. or get up to him without them knowing I'm here. No, it's just that... These games aren't easy. Well, they are. I never said they were. I mean, they, okay. At the time they came out, they really weren't that hard because the controls they were they weren't the, the controls were still being made. Like the, the, this game would really benefit from first person, third person ish controls nowadays. The way the controls are set up right now, they're really kind of punishing you because you're like, oh crap, I gotta learn PS2 controls again. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if the controls are like I'm used to with every other game, I'd probably be having a lot easier time right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the fact that the, the first person views on the right bumper and nothing on the left side, it just throws me off. Yeah. Like, it could be in the left bumper, it could be in the left trigger, but no, it's not, so. All right. Now, one other thing that came out in the original games was a radar, so you can see where everyone's going. Like, I wouldn't have to guess. Yeah. I do miss the radar. That's weird. What? Well, because the radar th uh, thing was uh, came out before this game, right? Yes, but the idea is that this is like the 1960s ish. Yeah. So the Soliton Raider that Solid Snake uses doesn't exist. Okay. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to like hold the button. Now he saw you. No, he, he got hit, so he was like, huh? What was that? He cannot feel it? He felt it, but it's a dart. See? No, 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 no. He can't see you. Come on. He can. That's why he went home. Come huh? on. He saw something. He doesn't know what it is, though. Yeah. See? I'm seeing things. Now... But he's not... No, for the record, the Metal Gear series, the guards are retarded. Like, <laughs> they have the line of sight of, like, a small rodent. It's ridiculous. Works for you. Well, it kind of works in general. Who else is there? Uh, there was a guy walking over here to the right that I saw. There he is. Yeah. How much time do you have until he wakes up? I forgot. A good while. There you go. Headshot. You have a <laughs> good while. Normally, what I do it is... It didn't tell you it was a headshot. Well, no, he went down instantaneously. Right. That's why I call it a headshot. Right. Uh, you can tell, like, they don't just instantaneously get up. They'll get less Z's around their head. So, like, see how quickly they're coming up right yes. now? Yes. It'll get far, it'll get, like, there'll be fewer and fewer of them. Oh, okay. That's so good. You, yeah, so you do know when it's happening. You're not yeah. just like, oh my god, they woke up! Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Stashing his body yeah. and searching it. I don't want him out in the open like that. The other guy would have seen him and would have, like, tried to wake him up, and we would have had some problems. See? Bullets. Forgot yeah. about that. This game got really good, really crazy with the drops off the characters. That's good, though. So like, you could do it multiple times and stuff like that? Yeah. You've done it before. Yeah. Gotta keep your eyes open. There's, there are more guards around here, I know that. But I want to get the stuff around the back. Come on, Snake, we got this! So yeah, since we went out and bought all the Metal Gears, the goal is to, do through this Let's Play series, do all the Metal Gears. So you'll eventually see the Twin Snakes edition. Eventually. Eventually. We're not going to do them all at once. Although uh, we might, there's, we, there's one right here, actually. Where? I think. No, wait. 
Nope, never mind. There's something over there, though. I want to get that. Um, we might run two games simultaneously, though, just because there's so many titles in the series. Yeah. That'll get Shotgun. confusing, though. I am never going to use that. Why not? It's too loud. If I ever get caught, maybe, but... Exactly, is, and you get cut is, often, so... Oh, only when I don't know they're coming. <laughs> I didn't do too bad the last map. Oh, which is 90% of the time, so... <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Fuck, camera. This camera... Huh? Who's that? Who's that? Uh oh. What's going on? Now would be a good time to use it. No, it wouldn't. Fuck! What the hell are you doing? They're missing horribly. So are you. I was trying to- I was trying to freaking trank him before he saw me. What's the plan now? I'm trying to remember how to equip the shotgun, because I did just get it. Bullets though, only. No? Oh, okay, I see how it works, okay. We had to go in here, we gotta pick out which ones we're putting on this. Oh, never mind. Where does he keep all this? Where does any video game character keep their weaponry? That's true. That's very true. Come on, get up, you fuck. <laughs> See? You're using it already. Yep, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying like one minute ago, literally one minute ago, I'll never use it. You lying son of a bitch. Oh god, he wouldn't go into combat mode. CQC! CQC! <laughs> what the hell was that? This shotgun is a lot more powerful than yeah. I remember it being. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Come here, bitches. I got a shotgun. <laughs> Two minutes ago, never gonna use it. <laughs> One minute ago, shotgun for all! <laughs> oh, wait. The CQC sucks with the shotgun. That's what it is. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. What Stop the hell? it. Stop it. Stop it. Just die. Just die peacefully. Come on, dude, come on. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Bitch, please. Come on. Oh, fuck it, I'm done playing with I'm done playing with you! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an electrical fence. Be aware of that. Be aware of that? You be aware of it. I don't see it. Right there. Well, since they already know I'm here, I'm going to take cover close to the location I'm going to get to. <laughs> this is crazy. Look, hey, look what's up? <laughs> look at the blast. Wow. You can see the, the, the upgrades, you know? The graphics? No, I, no, I don't no, remember no, the I mean, shotgun doing no, that, No, I mean, I mean the upgrade, like... This game came out a little while ago, and now... When you shoot people with, with shotguns, it does not have the same effect. It, it may have happened. Like, honestly, I'm, I mean, everyone likes to go, Oh, Vector Crew, you're so bad at these games. Yeah, you know, it's- I played these when they launched, and back when the- has nothing to do with what I just said. No, no, but the reason I'm saying is, I didn't- I didn't really didn't use the shotgun back in the day. It may have been that powerful, and I just never used it. Why? Because I was- I was good at the sneaking and crap like that. Like, the controls weren't a problem, I knew exactly what was going on. I used to be good, but then I turned 28. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what happened. Now I'm trying to go back to all these old games, and it's like the controls are all wonky, and I don't remember how it works. What was the last game you knew that was this intensive about its stealth? Seriously, like, think about that. Even Dishonored's stealth, if you get caught, you just mass kill everyone. Actually, I remember. Hang on a second. There's a game I went crazy about stealth with. Uh, what was it? A Crisis. But even Crisis, like, what I'm saying is, like, in this game, if I didn't have that shotgun, that would have been the end of this. I just lost. Yeah. You know? So, back in the day, you didn't have room for that failure. You didn't have room to, for them to find you. <laughs> By the way, just look at how he gets down. Oh yeah, that's always been stupid, I know. <laughs> Sorry. But what I'm saying is, back in the day, you didn't have- there was no room for failure. If I got caught, that was it. It was the end of the map, I had to start the whole, whole area over. Yeah. Now, you know, in Dishonored and, uh, Crisis, if yeah, I get if caught- Yeah, if you fuck it in up, Crisis, just... if you get caught, you just power through with the whole area. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, you've got the cloak mode as well, so it- Yeah. You can just literally walk in front of enemies. In this game, you actually have to stay down, stay low, and just keep moving. Same thing with Dishonored. If they catch me, you just teleport around Yeah. And... Yeah. You know, that'll be the question for this episode, guys. Do you enjoy games like this that really punished you if you got caught? Like, if you get caught in Metal Gear, you guys just saw, there's like 20 guys. If I didn't have that shotgun, which I'm almost out of ammo already, 
this would have been the end of this. I would have done this whole area over again. Do you miss games like that? Or do you like the new game where if you get caught, you can just blow through it in a heartbeat? That's the thing, though. A lot of people just don't want to bother with games like that anymore. Just They just want something easy that they can just relax to play with, not get frustrated playing. I'm a CIA that's true. Yeah, it is a much more relaxing. This is this does get very especially when you try doing it on extreme and it's stuff. It's just like a that. new generation though. It's pretty much what it comes down to. I was sent by Major Zero. By the way, we're gonna leave the cutscenes in now. Um even though we skipped the cutscenes before, Konami still claimed the video. So on the Let's Play channel, we'll just let Konami claim all these videos and put the cutscenes in. Fair enough. Sorry for being so late. He apologizes a lot, doesn't he? No, he's relaying the message oh, okay. from Major Zero. Sorry that we're late to come and get you. Okay. Major Zero was the man that was supposed to be getting Sokolov out of the country. Mm -hmm. And he failed, and Sokolov got caught. Okay. So Sokolov's been waiting for the rescue, and Major Zero wanted to relay the message. I'm sorry, sorry late. I'm late. Okay. Yeah. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. So now, now we're going to go into like an expose about who Volgan is. Holy gosh. Of the See, this is one thing I wish we had time for in the Metal Gear Complete Story series. He's actually had time to explain every one of these characters. Like, in this one, he's got such amazing villains. Metal Gear Solid 2 has amazing villains. Metal Gear Solid 1 has amazing villains. But there's no time to go into them because they're all inclusive into the single games. Mm -hmm. Volgan's in this. Volgan's a major bad guy, but other than mentioning his name, I didn't have any time to really go into him in the complete story. Same thing, you're going to see the Sorrow. The Sorrow in the end are two of the best villains in the Metal Gear series. I don't care what you guys say. The, the fight with the end is incredible. The only one second to that would have to be the Sniper Wolf fight, but they're both a sniper fight. You know, and then the Sorrow just, he messes with your head like Psycho Man is. These fights are amazing, but there's just no time to go over them in, this, in the complete story series. Maybe you should do something separate. Greatest, <laughs> greatest Metal Gear villains? <laughs> yeah, why not? The villains in Metal Gear, though, remind me a little bit of, um, uh, like Mega Man. Like Mega Man's got, like, Sawblade Man, Leaf Man, Super Powerful Man. In Metal, in Metal Gear, it's like, we have the end, Sniper Man. We have the Sorrow, Brain Man. We have Vulcan, Lightning Man. Mm -hmm. That's just creepy. What, Vulcan? Yeah. We should do a Let's Play of Mega Man. Oh my gosh. Do -do 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 you're ruining it. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Mega Man is probably not the best place for this. That's why we have the subtitles on. They can just turn me down right now if they want. Are you serious? Their orders were to prevent Colonel. You don't like reading. So. I read it. I'm actually reading right now because we have it down so low that I can't hear it. Even if it meant killing me in the process. I'm used to it now, to be honest with you. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. <laughs> dramatic. By the way, everything he does is dramatic. That's, uh, everything's dramatic. It's like the whole dramatic uh, action. Who acts kind of like that? Action heroes. From my mentor. Is that so? America's truly a frightening country. Murka. <laughs> He's saying that he learned his uh, a lot of his skills from his mentor, the boss. Yeah, I know. Yeah. If that's one thing I understood is that. So, what the, what does he have to crouch to get the freaking call? Major. Don't question is Metal Gear. Sokolov is safe with me. It's not Metal Gear. No injuries. It's, no gear. Good work, it's Snake. Snake. Now hurry up and get they all crouch. The snakes crouch to answer the calls. Even Raiden does it. Really? I had to kill them. There was no other way. It's but not gonna help. He still talks involved. very loud. I see. I know. I've always found that funny. Because like he'll be like hiding behind a barrel with the boss on the other side of the barrel, and he'll be like. Shriek! Probably Hello. Just a week hey, what's going on? Exactly. <laughs> and get Sokolov out of that. It's like yeah, they might not hear the other guy on the other side of the line, there, Snake. But you're not being quiet. <laughs> All right, and here is one of my favorite intros. Intros? Yeah, for a character. Oh. 
Actually, I don't know if he shows up here. Dude, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> 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 That's funny. He's like, should I crouch? Sh should I go? Look, at, look I at him, look at him. That's the funny. He's like ready to be a ninja. <laughs> You've got no knives, nothing, dude. Is he? <laughs> I don't think he even knows what he was doing. <laughs> I was I was going to say something, but I'm just going to restrain from the... No, I'm not going to say it. If you and I were on a mission, you would be Sokolov, I would be Snake. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I wouldn't be touching invisible boobs. Is that what he was doing? Looks, It looked like it. Freeze. They completely missed it, damn. Snake, you suck. How did you miss all of that? Really? I used code, man. Obviously, someone's gonna show up and save the day, right? So this is the legend. No. Boss. <laughs> Greatest intro ever. Is he a cowboy? Oh. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we need it last. Who the fuck is that? Revolver, Ocelot. You. Although at this point, he's only known as Ocelot. All right, so remind me, Ocelot. He's one of the guys that reoccurs through the entire series. Right. And this is his first official meet, like a, a meeting of the big boss in the timeline. And he's supposed to be a good guy. Yeah, he's the guy that switches sides like eight thousand awesome times. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna run him down really quickly. That's first, in this awesome game, let me see if I can remember this correctly. Does he have to be doing that? At this point, he's like a triple agent. Uh -huh. He then eventually starts the Patriots with Big Boss, hates the direction that is going in, then he so eventually breaks office. off of that, works with Solidus. Solidus and him then try to have their own uprising, which then fails. He then works with Big Boss what? and Solid Snake to defeat Major Zero. It's... In the end, yes. In the end, you find out that he was... He was trying to save the deck. Yeah. Okay. But he flips well, right sides, now, like... But right now, he's... He's saving him, so... Well, Ocelot's all about having, like, the true duel kind of a situation. Okay. Like, you know, a true honor on the battlefield kind of a guy, kind of a situation. He's the one, because you just watched me edit the video, the one that lo loses his hand to Cyber Cyber Cyborg Ninja in the uh, Metal Gear Solid with Twin Snakes and the Cyborg Ninjas. He then grafts Liquid Snake's hand onto his arm, Becomes Liquid Ocelot and gets controlled by Liquid Snake through the- it's a very long story. <laughs> I see that. But he is one character that is referred to in the complete story, so I really don't need to go much into him here. Because if you really want to know him, he's all throughout the series. <laughs> My hat. It's all that matters. I can't say it feels good it's covered in blood, man, isn't it? Even if it is huh? for the Gru. The hat's got blood? Yeah. Sokolov, take cover. <laughs> Now he's going. Now for the record, I'll talk about how long the cutscenes are. We yeah. started this cutscene about eight minutes ago. That's crazy. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? No, I'm not a woman. <laughs> Do I look like one? Oh, it's my hair, sorry. What the fuck was that? His name is Ocelot, which is a cat. So he gives the meow to signal his team to come in. What? <laughs> meow! And they all come running in. What <laughs> the <laughs> hell? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. Wow. Is so he now, gay? Now he's mocking. No, he thinks he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, so he's mocking. If you're uh, not the well, I guess Naked Snake is his name at this That's point. That's not good. Then die. Up, oh, Jam. CQC. What? No, no, I'm winning. You don't run away. I'm winning right now. Shoot the other one. Jesus. See now, now look at Snake just being a boss. Look at this. He's being a big boss. Really? 
No, he hit the nerve of the guy's arm. Oh. Right here. Yeah. So he'd burn up the clip. Huh. Now, there's like three of them in front of him. Why don't they shoot him? Because he keeps grabbing people, putting them in front of him. He's using them as human shields. And he's, he's obviously moving around like a crazy man. I mean, you don't know. He's going to be able to pull someone in the way in a hurry. Right. Now, that guy had the only open shot, but... Yeah, he for some was... some reason he fell over. I think he got hit by something. Not so boss anymore, are you? No, because he's the big boss! What? And there's the jammed round. Holy shit. What? What's impossible? You ejected the first oh. bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. <laughs> That's more of a revolver technique. See, and he basically, what happens here Filthy is Snake is actually gone. telling him, get rid of the automatic, go get a revolver, which is now he's going to turn into Revolver Ocelot. Oh, really? Yeah, he's actually telling him to go get a revolver because he's better with the revolvers, the way he's, his technique that he's using. Right. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Merka! Fuck yeah. <laughs> good. <sighs> and who is he? I mean, what is he? Who? Clearly he's not American. Uh, he's Russian, isn't he? I don't know. He does look right Russian. Right now, he's technically working for the Russians, but I think yeah. he's actually working for the US CIA. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's doing right now. He at all times is working for the the philosophers, no, but I mean, the what is he? The CIA. Like, what is he? Russian? Oh, his nationality? Yeah. I think he's I think he's American. Read me. I well, read he you. just Snake, you all right? There's no way. Run he's just an American dog, so it, These guys were after you so American dog. He's part, well, he's he's pretending to be a Russian right now. Oh, he's really? part of, he's part of the Spetsnaz Gru soldier or whatever. Soviet power okay. struggle according to Sokolov. Fair enough. Something between the KGB and Gru, between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch That's up. That's a crazy We're long cutscene. Cut yeah, it is. I think, We're I think, still in the cutscene. I not think if by, by now, I mean, uh, nowadays, uh, people would just be skipping it and just be mad, you know? Like, where's my gameplay? No, I don't know. Metal Gear Rising came out. It was full of cutscenes. Really? Yeah, uh, it was crazy. Well, if you, if you, yeah, if, if you're a fan of the series, clearly. But if it's just a game like that, it just came out with more cutscenes than actually, Azura's Wrath was like that. Yeah, Azura's Wrath was all yeah, cutscenes. Never mind. Metal Gear Rising was a ton of cutscenes. It was like an eight-hour game, but only three. But hours did it, it do well though? Metal Gear Rising did well. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, um, Azura's Wrath. I don't think Azura's Wrath did, but it it sold to a weird demographic. Yeah. I don't like. It. She gives you all kinds of like funny little feedbacks and stuff like that. There's all kinds of Easter eggs in this game. Yeah, I know. Hold on. D does he have something on him? Ammo? A mouse trap. What? He's, he's an ocelot. Oh, I see what they did there. That's cool. I guess they're not gonna give me anything off anybody. There's so many bodies here. Huh. All right. 